How nice to see you again, Captain. Now, what can we do for you today? What would you like to sell, Captain? The 4144 units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you 888 credits. What trade items would you like to buy today? How much fuel do you wish to purchase? Fuel transferred to your vessel. Please remember. Ah, yes. Speed. An excellent choice for the relent. These little babies. Our reinforcement procedures on your landers are complete. Now, provided your crew will stop putting their hands out the windows, they will be much better protected against hostile life forms. The technology we are now offering includes blueprints which show how to increase your lander's cargo space to double its present volume. I hope this makes your... What else? It has that. Thank you. 
Ah, our human friend. Please, let us chat a while. It has been so many years since I last visited your Earth. So long since I glided across your open fields under the light of a full moon. Tell me of Earth. Tell me of what I have. Oh, I forget myself. How silly. You were born on the distant world Unzervault. I have visited there much more recently. The Micon change and reform worlds with their deep children. These changes affect others, unfortunately. The fate of your world and your heart relate to these matters. There was Clever Ward has found our nook in time. You are the first brave human. No others have made the trip. This is our home world, Falealorophily, nestled safe in this true space eddy. The portal you pass through is a rarity, a natural point of interdimensional fatigue. We use these phenomena to speed our transit through the realities. We are wondering, have you met with the Umgar recently? We entrusted an injured talking pet into their care, and we were curious about its progress. As you know, we live in a dimension adjacent to hyperspace, which we call quasi-space. Our ships move between these dimensions through weaknesses in the interdimensional fabric. 
although many such weaknesses or portals exist which lead from our dimension to quasi space to various locations in hyperspace there is only one naturally occurring portal which will transport a ship from hyperspace to quasi space we therefore find it convenient to generate our own portals artificially with focused dimensional fatigue rays as a sign of our long-standing relationship with your species, we would happily fit your vessel with a portal spawner of its own. But your ship is so massive, our units would be ineffective. However, we suspect you may find a sufficiently powerful warp pod, a key element in a portal spawner, in the wreck of the Earth Corn Dreadnought on the seventh world at Alpha Balonis. Bring that warp pod back here, and we will prepare a portal spawner for your vessel. What a surprise! As we have always said, humans are a most resourceful and clever species. We are so proud of you, but don't worry that you shall have to wait. We are prepared. Even now, our technical personnel are equipping your ship with a custom version of our portal spawner device. The device is usable only in hyperspace. Whenever it is activated, the spawner will focus several interdimensional fatigue beams adjacent to your vessel, opening a temporary hole into quasi space. Move quickly through the portal. After your ship has passed into quasi space, you can choose any of the nearby portals which lead back to hyperspace, thus saving you needless transit time. Be keenly aware of this fact. The spawner requires a great deal of energy to function. We estimate that each time you use the device, it will consume 10 of your fuel units. We are an endlessly curious species, and we spend much of our time on, how should I say, reconnaissance missions. During one such trip, we witnessed the crash landing of an Urquan Dreadnought on the surface of Alpha Pavonis 7. Normally, when an Urquan vessel is disabled, it automatically engages self-annihilation circuits to prevent other species from learning the Urquan's technological secrets. In this case, however, these circuits must have failed. The Dreadnought did not disintegrate on impact. We landed to explore the wreckage, and were amazed to find a survivor, a talking pet. As you may know, the Urquan used these non-sentient creatures for the task of interspecies translation, a task the Urquan find ultimately demeaning. The talking pet was severely injured, and we did what we could for the poor creature. But it grew clear that without superior measures, the talking pet would die. We turn to the Unga, whom we have known for many centuries. Their bioscience skills are far superior to our own. The Unga promised to do what they could and let us know how the pet fared. We have not heard from the Unga since. Perhaps if you are traveling through their stores, you can ask them for us. Goodbye, clever child.
Okay.
I had itchy pods this morning, Captain, and here you are. Now, what can we do for you today? What would you like to sell, Captain? The 184 units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you 368 credits. What would you like to sell, Captain? Your ship's log indicates that you discovered the whereabouts of one of the rainbow worlds which so fascinate us. In exchange, we will give you 500 credits. 